Basim, have you spoken with Sigurd lately? We talk from time to time. Why? Have you noticed any change in him? Any loss of, of happiness or feeling? He appears to me more thoughtful, introspective. Thoughtful? That seems an understatement. He speaks as if he hears the voices of the gods whispering in his ear. We live in a strange time, Eivor. Among stranger people, Sigurd may be among the blessed. But who can say for certain? Indeed. <clears throat> Rattling score. Sunan, guide me. Lead me, be my eyes. There you are, Gunnar. And with a smile I haven't seen in some time. Eivor, over here. Eivor, thought I smelt you under wind. Gunnar, with the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. I have. This Valkyrie right here. Bridget, my own heart's root. Meet Aver. It takes a rare woman to nail down our gunner. Bavendin da, with my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. What do you do around here, Bridget? Except keep Gunner out of mischief. And my gunner, what are you going to do with him? Have you a family, Bridget? If mom and dad carried Evan Gillard and Anun, Conan helped Drew's me. 
Briggs and Man Pa were the last high priestess and elder man. They since passed on. But the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Tim Jolch, you two bags of air see who can pass the killer. That ever gal, please sound. Right, no daylight to waste then, eh? The Elderman may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. <laughs> and Settled by lurking Vikinger. They come from all over to celebrate Sawan. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us money. Sawan? Is that what these cab roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Face is cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let's bring a few back. There is the elder man, Kunan. A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah, then let's introduce you to Tevdur. Hans as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be elderman after Kunan. Tevdur, this is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, uh, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick and the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? I'm here to hasten my friend's marriage and drink my weight in ale. If friendship comes afterwards, then all the better. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god right kings for puppet rulers? So-called puppet kings keep your land safe and your bellies full. I ask no thanks, only hospitality. A apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You, you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last Samhain. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder, as your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. So you've come to meet the family before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. I, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to St. Kenhelm, God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go, may you have a fire-forged friendship. 
Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? Salon. <laughs> Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elder Man. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. The festival brings... God's light does not dim as the nights chill, but the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around... It lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Kenelm your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Low in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You're a kinder man than the mask you wear. You won't be rid of me. I'll keep my word to Kunan for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh, Lord, gift upon this lowly servant your greatest gift. Patience. I'll not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Teftir. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hare? Teftir, get to safety. Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from? Was close. Eivor, thank you for saving my life. It is good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splude, cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely, the shrine is in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester, unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kuna. Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one. Find me at the festivities. Eivor, <laughs> there you are. Here I am. So, what adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful, accosted by a singular of boar. Odd, but path now usually south. To the Brivo. But you saved his hide. 
I bet it was quite the sight, two of you as a pair. I kept my word to Kunan, and that spatchcock tipped their lips. Restraint, Javor? I was half expecting you to wallop the lad around the head and ass. I've bridged hands with most of England, Gunnar. And I've held my temper around worse than Teftir. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. Skull. So, you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? Nigwiskal anvil is spread down in creatures of the veil. The bag for treats. Glowachester gives their glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, you'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given. <laughs> I've only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, praying for sweets and drink. It's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Lubed. Now, let's hooden. Become the Mary Lubed, the spirit who sings for cake and ale, and you cannot have your cloak back until we leave. I'll keep this covering, but even a knife to my throat could not make me sing on command. Shame. I heard your voice clear as a bell. Locks fall from the sky in envy. Gunner, if no one else is dressed this way, I'll fill your shop with sheep. Trick or treat! What business have you? Oh, the Mary Lewid. Right, right. We're doing cakes instead of beer this year. Sour night and the moon is high. Mari Lewid haunts my door. Give me sweets and candied treats, the kind I most adore. <laughs> Here then. Sweets for the Mari Lewid. You've earned it. Are you playing the role of trickster spirit? Can trickster spirits see? The eye holes in this mask are terrible. All it takes is a mask and some sweet cakes to turn you into a gentle skull. I am not going to sing, Gunnar. Are you ready to rhyme with me? Down the road, from my abode, there is an open veil. I've been here knocking and a-walking. Now give me cake and ale. Brilliant, that is! Ah, lads getting into their cops, scaring the wee ones. Get it! Oh, thank the gods. We've been waiting for children all night to empty our store so we can go to the party. Have some extra. <laughs> Look at these cakes. Sweet as honey, Gunnar. You should see this. Gunnar? My cakes. Then, to the midst of the world, I saw a woman at the crossroads. All in one. And the children knew they should not have been out in the late and in the dark. They bent low to the ground. It's a laddie wind! That's right, my love. The laddie wind. The white lady. Her dark eye fell upon the children and... <laughs> Which is why none of you should run out alone to the woods tonight. You will stay in sight of the tree and the wicker man, yes? Yes, Mother Modren. Yes, Mother Modren. Now... First of you to bring me back a candy chestnut shall have a treat. A child. I have I have cakes. Mummy made. Here. Go 
Connor! Either fearless or stupid boy to speak to someone of the Raven Clan this way. Fitting name for scavengers. Winged rats taking what isn't yours. I'll pick out your eyes and feed them to your god. Goner, we are guests here. Let him go. We can hood and more. <laughs> you seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ, him tall. God damn you! <laughs> You look, we should be burning alive. Are you sure you don't want to stay in Glowchester? They know how to have fun. of the river. There's children about. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Let's see that leg then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. Tilukis. Modron's a compass to patch this land. Will he walk again? The gash is deep. If I cannot save the leg, the pigs will eat well tonight. That man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire, but I offer my healing services on both sides of the river. Gwenith, my love. Go back to the house and bring me the garlic salve. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, mother? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I promise not to cut it off before your return. I'll give me strength. My mom modern is known I'm a humor towish gudran. I'm glad you all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go, Aver. Make merry and try to loosen Tevter's shoulders. Modron, you do not have to save his leg. I'll understand. That limb will be fine, but no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles. Bitter ale and sweet friends. That is a fine way to end the day. I thought the church condemned this celebration. <laughs> I hate the church. Name's Gwarim, and I turned to God just three years back. You look like a man with a past. 
What were you before you took up the cloth? Me? A, a, a grain farmer. Had to take up the sword a few times to protect my crops. What brought you to God? You know you need to change after the third night you wake up britchless in pig shat with no idea how you got there. Do you like Gloucester? Ah, tis a beauteous place. Shame they're losing their elderman. Enjoy the festival, Gwillem. Ah, perhaps a drink later. Alone with your thoughts at last. Eivor! <laughs> perhaps. Every moment is sweeter when you are the Harvest King. All this bounty. Soon, I will join it. But eat, drink, enjoy all that Gloucester's lush woods offer. Alone with your thoughts, hey. but... Eivor, there you are. Tefter. You're well met. Gwilym here has challenged my honor in a contest of drinks. Join us. The lad will be easy pickings. Give me a cup. Some ale, then. One for me as well. Gwilym, the warrior monk. Now we can match wills with a flagon in hand. <laughs> ale is known to blunt even the sharpest of plates, Eivor. To holy hearts and humid eyes. It is the best drunkenness returns a man to royal reason. Skull! Chester is at stake. I will not leave these lands to one who laps at ale like a cat. <laughs> That's foul. Come, lad. The leader at Gloucester should hold more meaning than that. in arms drink a hogshead of ale faster! Drink, man! Drink! Come on, lad! Show the dame your metal! <laughs> this merriment feeds my soul. Here, another drink on me for allies new and old. Of all the elder men I've met, you are the most unburdened. What is your secret? None. It is well known. The burdens I carry will soon leave this world with me. So drink to my life and death. Death? I am to be sacrificed in the Wicker Man as King of the Harvest. Like Elderman Simkin before me and all before him. Horrible barbaric practice. A burnt offering after poor crops. They hope well-fed gods will smile upon them. Your people are loyal to you, Kunan. Seems a waste to throw your life away. Their loyalty would falter if I shirked my duties. I will die glorious in flame, not live to further choke my homeland. A toast, then, to Elderman Kunan, joyous and generous. Let each man show him loyalty until he suffers death. My friends, you are kind to me. I'd like to toast my successor, Tevder. May he wear the horns head high.
Weak. What is this? Water. I feel like Thor chugging ocean snow effect to my head or step. <laughs> you heard the woman. Give her something stronger. <laughs> this will work faster than any tonic. Good. Give me visions of all creatures that roam these hills and the sore head tomorrow to pay for it. Wow, that tastes awful. It feels good, though. Eivor, speak true. My feelings be damned. I have been an ass. Do not deny it. And I, for that, I am sorry. A colossal horse's ours. Yes. Soft words from a heartless heathen. Only fiercer than fire among ill friends. I can be very as nice as a spring gale. <laughs> and how nice is that? Very, very nice. I think I might like you even better when you're me. Tevter, with Gunnar and Bridget's marriage, our clans will unite. But we could join by oath as well. Oh, yes. My first ally as Elderman. I accept. We shall make an oath. How do we start? Yeah. The greatest, greatest oath and the greatest union. To the oath. The treaty. The greatest. <laughs> People are sleeping. More ale to seal our friendship. <laughs> Wait, look out for the black sow. Sow, like pig. Flaming pig. Chases you home at night. <clears throat> silly words to scare silly children. <laughs> you see magic as the stuff of children's dreams. Perhaps I judge too much. Proves I half believe. Foolishness sometimes takes my tongue. I have to piss. <laughs> A great blackness chases stars across the sky in great whirls of color and light. Whoosh. Here we are, right inside here. I feel warm. Do you feel warm? Always warm here. <laughs> It's a wonder you don't walk around naked. Yes, um, well, come on in. Tefter! 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 Where are you? Uh. Hell's breath. What happened last night? Ugh. The effects of that draft still cling. Captain! Are you here?
Tefter's bodyguard, killed by knife. This part has been broken, and it's covered in blood. A weapon, maybe. Blood could be Tefter's if he was the heavy thing being dragged. This God's truth! Mighty footprints. Someone was hiding back here. Open this door! Come out of there! This little something stronger. But why is it here? Better hold on to it. So, what does this lead to? The murderers hid here. Lying in wait while we approached outside. They jumped from the shadows to kill the bodyguards. And to disable Tift. And they dragged him away. It counts for everything. Except Gwilym's pouch of herbs. Still unbalanced by Gwilym's special something. Maybe Mother Mordron will know the contents. There she is! What is the meaning of this? Blood soaking our soil, and your weapon coated in the same! Kunan, please. More has happened here than you can see. Give me a right to parley my innocence. I should have heeded Tevder's misgivings about heathen party guests. And now he has paid with his life. With Tevder gone, Glowichester will be without an elderman. Eye for an eye, your Raven clan will lose their chieftain. Get the murderer! Do you see, Sunan? Hello again. Mother, it's the friend of the mangled leg man. Eivor, you remember? Indeed. It's a surprise to see you. Is everything quite all right? No, it's not. I awoke in Tefter's wrecked home. Blood, but no body. Kunin's men are after me for the lad's murder. Uh-oh. Did you stab him? Mother, can I see? Blood, but no body? We must see what has happened to him. Do you recognize the contents of this pouch? A very unusual blend. There is a druid who uses this mix to aid sleep. A monk called Gwilym poured some of it into my drink last night. The effects were intense. Trust the houses! Can't have gotten far! They're coming for you. If they know I've aided you, it'll be my head next. Can you? I've seen nothing and no one. Mother, if the stranger wants more of the herbs, they can talk to the druid Halewin. Yes. Halewin's cabin is on a lake near where the Cherwell and Great Ouse rivers meet. But he is a strange fish. Rarely does he speak to mortals, preferring the company of spirits. Now, I have business at Rollandrich. Find me there later.
Let's go. Sail out! Sing us a song. That must be the home of the druid. The fellow's land is peopled by men of straw. Finally come! Days ago, a passing cloud foretold your arrival with droplets of sun-scented rain. But what form of being are you beneath this guise of horse and bone? From the realm of the Fey? I know you cannot say. I, I press no more. Whatever you be, now you are here, the ritual may begin. Oh, but the men of straw must announce you with sparks. Ignite the sky to begin anew, here at the death of the season. Until then, I await you, giving thanks in the glen. Uh, uh, a wickerman speaks. Now let me... Halima said that the wickerman must announce me with fire. Perhaps I should set them in place. Another. Let there be cacophony. One more. One more. They roar. Do you hear them? A chorus of fire. That should be the last one. Back to the druid. Speak to me, O oh wind. I have come to ask you a single question. Something about your demeanor and your physical manifestation now gives me pause. Are you truly a spirit of light? I'm a spirit as any other. Then prove it. You must know the depths of the world's mysteries before I will help you. Tell me the proper use of charms. Very well. Ask your riddles. Which is the charm that weds souls? Give me a measure of time. Are you a spirit of darkness? If it be not so, come back and try anew. What are these things he's asking me? There must be trinkets around his house that will help. This symbol is one I've seen carved into shields and headstones. Mouths are open, like they've been screaming secrets. A hangman's noose, a knife, and the vile smells of poison. Three ways to kill someone. This dagger is placed upside down. Two ladles carved from a single branch. The grooves match. Hmm. 
The statue of a woman, Sabrina, watches me from the wall. Speak to me, O oh wind. Have you found yourself? If you are a spirit of light, answer me this. Which is the charm that weds souls? The charm of the double spoon. Yes, such that a wedded pair can sup broth together. Man and woman are made of earth, of water, and wind. Which charm clods the earth, dries the water, and stills the wind? Threefold death stops life's wind, returns a body to earth, and renders water into poison. Threefold death is the charm. Which charm protects from evil spirits? The symbol of the Celtic knot wards of harm. A secure knot indeed. Only one of light need not fear it. <laughs> you are a spirit of light. Mabon be praised. Would you like some bread and cream? No, just the answer to a question. This herb pouch made its way to Gloucester in the hands of a strange man. Do you know it? Aye. A mix to help him sleep. I filled this very pouch. And over a dandelion wine, he spoke fondly of his home, Kuthladrin. Kuthladrin. <clears throat> Very well. I thank you, Halloween. But this spirit has others to visit this harvest moon. Go with the wind and leaves, good friend of the hills. Kuthladrin. Strange name. Meanwhile, Modron awaits me at the stones nearby.